Yeah, and I don't, if that's why I sort of, you know, I hate the word inspiration, um, because it, that isn't my process, you know. I'm going out there and like literally digging in the dirt for, for the idea, you know, instead of like nothing's hitting me on the head from the, from the heavens. I recently moved from New Mexico to Wisconsin and I hadn't had much time to get to know that area. So I decided that in building this work, I needed to sort of cull from, from what I had available. So I started walking through the town with my dog, discovered a free lumber bin. Um, and yes, it's true that what was in there really probably should be in a burn pile, but um, I just started taking what looked good from there and uh, bringing it back to the studio, cutting it, painting it, putting it together in ways that referenced what I was um, thinking about. The uh, work that I'm making now is influenced by a residency that I did in Alpena, Michigan in the summer of 2012, and I'm still working um, with the imagery and the research that I, that I did on that residency. I spend um, a lot of time reading. I was reading um, John Muir's writings, those sorts of things, uh, Henry David Thoreau, and I just kind of really immerse myself in that environment and learning about it. And then I come back and kind of let everything percolate together so my palettes are, are often derived from the research materials that I'm looking at. So I've been looking at a lot of geological books, of course, as I'm understanding the area. Water maps um, are carried over, so the colors are often um, very contrasty because that's used in educational materials to separate out areas, make things stand out from each other. Yeah, I don't think there is very much literalness in my work. There's not always a logical explanation for what happens and what comes together. And I think you know, part of what I wrestle with is, is this sort of sense that I'm controlling everything and putting everything together. And sometimes an element has to come in by chance or by accident because that's what's happening out there. That's what I'm seeing, right? Uh, you know, I think um, my process takes a really, really long time. Um, most of these pieces of wood are cut and sanded, primed, and painted with you know, four or five layers of paint. I think it's not obvious, and I don't want it to be obvious, so I probably shouldn't say it. Um, I don't want it to feel, um, you know, like, oh, how long did that take you? I want it to seem that it's been slapped together in some ways, but it's so tedious. Yeah, well, I make sculpture. Do you know how much I want to make really lovely little flat two-dimensional drawings or some nice video that's, that stores and like, this, the, 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 the crates are burdens. They're, but I, I guess what then means the work is successful is it doesn't feel like a burden to you. I just maybe shouldn't give that away, but it's like, you know, I move that crate myself. I mean, it's like, I'm like that ant that's moving that giant stick. Um, you know, what I'm interested in is sometimes those environmental issues that are uncomfortable to talk about, that don't have an easy solution. I mean, where is the water in the Southwest? It's not underground anymore. We took it all. And that is really, ugh, to talk about. And so I prefer to have a little bit of fun with it. I guess the part that, that I secretly love about my process right now is that I am more like um, a kid on a scavenger hunt to get the materials and the paint. It's sort of like a challenge. I, I'm going to work with what's available to me, but I also am going to keep trying to get, get there before somebody else gets the good stuff. So it's, it's a little bit um, of a fun game. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've told you quite a few of my secrets. Um, I have other secrets. Um, Okay, one secret. I think I'm a little, um, I don't know if hoarder is the right word, but I cannot discard anything from the studio. I can, I can clean out the fridge and there's no, you know, to go boxes around the kitchen, but I cannot throw anything away. So even the sawdust, when I empty out the miter saw bag, dust collection, I save the sawdust.
and I mix it up with the paint and the glue. And I just, it's absurd um, what I hold on to and use. Unhealthy, I think, maybe. A little crazy, for sure. Um, but I just dip it in paint and it turns into something else.